So I have a treat for you guys. Um, this week I'm going to be releasing two episodes of Setup Wars. Episode 32 that you are watching now. And then episode 33 will go live this Thursday. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am buried in submissions. Right now, the current uh, wait time to get featured on my channel is about 4-5 to five months. And I get like 200 submissions at least per week. So... It's really hard to keep up with you guys. Honestly, I'm getting so many submissions. So hopefully I can try and do two episodes per week. Um, if it's too much for me, I'll go back and just do one episode a week. So yeah, it's kind of overwhelming with all of these setup submissions. So I'm trying to figure out a way that I can get these out faster because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for months and you're wondering why your setup hasn't been featured. Well, that's why. I think I have like over... 250 submissions as of today, and I'm getting more and more every single day. Anyways, without wasting any more time, let the setup wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again, guys. G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. So our five lucky contestants for this week are Leonard, Luke, Mike, Ricardo, and Stefan. Congratulations for making it to Setup Wars episode 32. First up is Leonard with a 24-inch LG monitor, a SteelSeries Apex keyboard, and a Speedlink Decus mouse. Also on the desk, we have a pair of Trust 5.1 surround sound speakers and an Asus laptop off to the right side. Excellent work with cable management. All of the wires are off of the table and neatly resting on top of the IKEA Signum rack with the power strips attached to the right side of the desk. I do like the addition of the LED strips behind your monitor, but maybe hide the LED remote somewhere so it's not visible, perhaps strapping it against the roof of your desk close to you so you can access it easily. Also, since you have a desk mat already, you don't really need a mouse pad. The setup would look a lot cleaner without it, but that's just my two cents. Thank you, Leonard, for entering Setup Wars. Luke is next up with a single 27-inch Samsung monitor. We also have a Logitech G510 keyboard and a Logitech G9X Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Edition mouse on top of the glorious extended mouse pad. We also have a pair of Swan speakers and some miscellaneous stuff in the back for added personality. Decent work with cable management. I mean, I do see that you have a lot of cables to work with and you did your best to clean them up as much as you can. I do love the addition of the headphone hanger for your M50s and the SD card reader that you attach to the roof of your desk. Very nice mod and a very clean setup. If you're looking to spice things up a little bit, I would recommend a monitor riser to keep that display off of the desk and that way you will have some space under for your router. And if you do that, you can get these speaker stands and lift the speakers up, that way it will match the height of the monitor and give a little spice to your setup. But once again, these are just my recommendations. Obviously, I'll link everything I mentioned down below, but other than that, thank you Luke for entering. For number three, we have Mike with a game room setup. Technically, he has two displays, but on his actual desk setup, we have a single 27-inch Acer monitor. Also on the desk, we have a Razer Black Widow Ultimate keyboard, a Logitech G400 gaming mouse, and off to the left side, we have a SteelSeries 5H V2 gaming headset, resting on a hanger of some sort. Off to the right side, we have a small table with a few stuff on top, a 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina, Xbox One console with a pair of Sennheiser Urbanite headphones, and a Logitech K400 wireless keyboard, which he uses to control his PC from his bed. Cable management is really great and everything is organized really well. I especially like the spiral wrap that you use for the TV cables. My OCD levels are very calm so far in this episode. This is one of the very few setups that I have seen that do a great job on utilizing a gaming PC for watching videos. Just grab the wireless keyboard, sit back in your bed, and use it to play videos on the massive TV. Excellent setup indeed, Mike. Thank you for entering. Ricardo is next up with a green themed setup, which surprisingly has nothing to do with Razer. We have a 27 inch Samsung monitor, Corsair K70 RGB keyboard, and a Logitech G303 gaming mouse. Even the Mackie CR4 speakers have a green outline on them to match the setup. I'll award you a point for the color coordination already. Cable management is great, although I noticed you use the PC case box to keep the power strip above the ground. I guess I'm gonna have to take that point back. To the left of the setup, we have a pair of M50s on the Tech Source approved headphone stand from AmoV, which I only featured like a thousand times on the channel. And behind that, we have a custom PC. Excellent choice going with the NZXT NOC 20450 case. Uh, inside this beautiful case, we have a 4790K paired with a GTX 980 
with some green LEDs by Satachi which are actually RGB. This setup kind of seems cramped and I get why you have your PC faced to the side like that so the inside is visible. But wouldn't it look a lot better if you move the PC case to the right side of your setup? It would not only make the cable management job a little easier but you can also move your entire setup to the left and have lots of more room to work with. At least that's what I would do if I had that setup but either way it's a pretty sweet green setup Thank you Ricardo for entering. Last but not least we have Stefan with a very interesting setup. A 23 inch LG monitor, a Mad Cats Strike 3 gaming keyboard and a Rad 3 mouse on top of a very tiny circular table. On the left side we have a Logitech G27 racing wheel setup and a pair of Logitech Z213 speakers. I gotta hand it to you Dell. with such a limited space to work with you sure as hell made the best of it. I'm guessing you just rotate the monitor to the other side whenever you need to use the wheel and you are basically good to go. The PC that's powering all of this has a 4670K and a GTX 970 packed inside the awesome H440 case. Cable management can definitely be improved, just grab some velcro straps and at least tie the cables together. But yeah, not much else to say, pretty sweet setup considering what you have to work with. Thank you Stefan for entering Setup Wars. So that's it for this episode of Setup Wars, you guys know what to do, make sure to drop your comments down below and vote on who has the best desk setup. As always, voting will end on Saturday and I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts, so make sure you guys are following me there. Uh, keep a lookout for my next episode coming this Thursday, and as always, if you guys enjoyed the series, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.